Hello, welcome to the St. Bogs bus. I am Penelope. I am Noah. I am Ashton. And I am Mrs. Hamling. Last Wednesday, the kids told you a riddle. Remember the riddle? It was what has no start, no middle, and no end. end. Hmm. Let's find out the answer. I will pick out the answer. Okay, show us the riddle box. Okay, here we go. Once she can get the right answer. I'm so scared. Oh, don't be scared. Here, scooch it for it. There we go. Okay, let's see. What does that say? Oh, Sarah Smith in third grade said, your soul. No. That is a great answer, but it's not correct. Let's try another one. Is it another great answer? Oh, gosh, you got like three of them there. Whoa. Whoa, you got a bunch. This is like a sticky note. Yeah, it is like a sticky note. Okay, what's that one say? All right, so Josephat in third grade said number line. No, that's not the correct answer. I can't see how many types I can draw. I don't know. What's this one say? What? Time. Oh, that's a cool idea, but that's not the correct answer. Oh, I want to choose a blue one. Okay, you're going to choose a blue one? Blue one. Ashton, what do you think? Oh, here, no, let's pick this one. This one has a kitty on it. It's so cute. Oh, oh. circle. Yes! That is the correct answer. Look at this. This is Kara Heibels. And look, she put a cute little kitty on there. Oh, you're right, Kara. Circle was the correct answer. I did not know how much times I drew. Quite a few. Ashton, your turn. Turn the page. What are we going to say to all those kids who took a guess? Yeah, we sing books for my mom. Good job, Buzz fans. Mm -hmm. Today, we, we get our extra recess and a snack. Ooh, that's right. Our school families did a great job selling tickets to the Night of Entertainment, so you guys get an extra recess and a snack today. It is Valentine's Day. I bought Valentine's for my friends. Me too. Look at my Valentine's Day box. <laughs> Ashton, what do you say? Say cool. Cool. Look at my Valentine's Day box. Look at my Valentine's Day box. Hold it up for us. Oh, neat. I like yours. Here is mine. Oh, what do you guys think? Very cool. Oh, that makes me hungry. I want some popcorn. You guys did a great job. Turn your pages. You can leave them up here if you want to. Yeah, I can't see. I can't see. Buzz fans, we'll be, make sure to get some pictures of your Valentine's Day celebration so we can show them on the buzz. Wait, so do I tell them like Yes, and then Nora, you talk about lunch. We're right here. Lunch, lunch on Tuesday. Tuesday, it is chicken patties, baked beans, and fruit. Ashton. Remember. Remember, you can eat the school lunch or bring your own lunch. Mm -hmm. It will be one on Tuesday, but it might sn snow on Wednesday. Actually, I think it's just going to be really cold. We checked the weather before we came down here, huh? That sounds like crazy Nebraska weather for you. Nora, what should we always do? Boil your coat. Ashton, what else? And bring your water bottle. Oh, can you reach that water bottle? It's so far away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Good. Bring your water bottle. Let's turn the page. What's what the fossil big? I want to stay forever. You want to stay forever? Yeah. And this gonna, will do the bus forever. You're going to do the bus forever? Yeah. No one else gets a turn? Um, uh, yeah, I know. But we did watch him do it. There you go. Okay, well, Penelope, it's your turn. 
Mrs. A gave out JoJo Musician Rewards last week. Mm -hmm. Here's Mrs. A. What say? Good morning, boys and girls. Well, we get to have our first musician interview today, and I'm so excited because our guest today is Samantha Cargis. Samantha, what grade are you in? Fifth grade. All right, how's fifth grade going this year? Good. Good. Samantha, does your family have any other musical instrument that you know about? My brother plays the saxophone and he's in ninth grade. My sister, she's also in ninth grade. She used to play the clarinet. She doesn't anymore though. And I'm pretty sure my dad played the saxophone and my grandma played the clarinet. Very good. Do you think any of them have inspired you at all about being a musician? Um, my brother is in band still, so I decided to join band and I play clarinet. Oh, very cool. Um, I remember your brother playing the national anthem on his saxophone. Do you remember listening to him play it? Yeah. Do you know if he still knows how to play it? Um, he probably does, but he doesn't really play it anymore. anymore. Is there something that he does play a lot of now? Um, I don't really hear him play, but one time he played Soul Sister on his on his saxophone at home. Oh, wow. I bet that was cool to listen to. So, Samantha, do you have a favorite song that you like to sing at Mass? Um, not really. I like all of them, but I like Your Grace is Enough. That's a cool song, yeah. What other kinds of songs do you like to listen to on the radio? Um, I don't really have a favorite. I like most songs. Okay. You don't have really have a favorite song at all, huh? Cool. Um, so tell me, what are some things that you really enjoy about music class? I like singing all the songs that we sing in mass. Okay, cool. Those are always fun. So, Samantha, do you have any other things that you're involved in other than band? Um, I play soccer, basketball, and volleyball. Oh, well, okay. So you have sports all year, huh? That's pretty cool. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about yourself? Um, I have a twin sister and an older brother and sister that are twins. Wow, so two sets of twins in your family, huh? And everybody keeps track of you and keeps you straight who's who, huh? In your family? That's pretty cool. Well, Samantha, thanks for being our, uh, oh, I was going to ask you, is there anything that you want to perform for us today? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for being our first guest on The Buzz. So there you have our first dojo musician, Samantha Cargis. She was awesome. And next week, we will get to interview Ellen Beller. I can't wait. So, Buzz fans, have a great day. Keep sending in your videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Mrs. A. Please stay and say the St. Michael player. Well, that's what we have for time today. Thanks for joining us on Say Bowling Wood. And check out this information about our saint of the day. Hey, look up! Where did it go? Say <laughs> popcorn! This is Franciscan Media's Saint of the Day for February 14th. Today we celebrate Saints Cyril and Methodius, but let's also briefly remember St. Valentine, the third century priest and martyr who gave his heart to God rather than renounce his faith. Cyril and Methodius were brothers born in late 9th century Greece. Both men became monks and missionaries in Moravia, part of the present day Czech Republic. Cyril's first work was to invent an alphabet still used in some Eastern liturgies. His and his brother's free use of the local language led to opposition from the German missionaries already ministering there. Cyril died only 50 days after taking the monastic habit. Methodius, older by 15 years, continued mission work for 16 more years. This included service as a papal legate 
for all the Slavic people and as a bishop. Methodius was exiled for three years in a political dispute and later was falsely accused of heresy. Both men encountered opposition and even hostility from some clergy for preaching in the local language and for their use of the Slavonic liturgy. Today, Cyril and Methodius are honored in both East and West as patrons of ecumenism. There's more about the saints along with inspiration and Catholic resources at our website, saintoftheday.org. From Franciscan Media, this has been Saint of the Day.